Amazing feeling. Um, obviously spent so long here as a kid, so um, special memories. Uh, spent a lot of time in the stadium as a fan, as a ball boy. So yeah, it's, it's quite surreal to be back really. What a place. The amount of times I've watched games here and thought maybe one day I have the chance. Obviously, I've been away for a few years, so I'm um, really grateful to hopefully have the chance to, to represent the first team and be back here in front of fans, which is going to be special, back in League One as well. The club's got such a good academy, being a, being a London club, and I was here right from the beginning, sort of seven, eight years old, so we always had lots of good players, and that was always the aim, to push as far as possible, and hopefully one day play here. There's obviously a couple that have done it, um, obviously Jaden Sweeney's played a lot of games here um, as well as others so uh, that's always the aim and yeah, it's, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Played with him a bit yeah um, so he was a couple of years older than me um, so I trained with him plenty of times over on score which is obviously um, very, looks very different now but then towards the end of my time I, when I was 14 played a few games with the under 18s and uh, Spines was quite helpful for me when I was sort of one of the younger ones and he was really welcoming for me. It was emotional and it was probably tougher than I thought it would be once I actually left because it was all I'd, all I'd known um, and you sort of you get used to things but when you've been here seven eight years as a kid it's basically my whole life so yeah it was emotional um, and yeah I guess I guess it's a nice feeling to be back. Yeah, it's been good. There's been, been ups and downs. Um, I've had a lot of different experiences up there. Um, everyone knows how big a club Leeds is. I think I only probably fully realised it when I moved up there, the size of the club. Um, so to play for Leeds um, a handful of times has been a real honour. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been really good. Met lots of good people as well. That was a surreal day. Um, that was my first senior goal, as you said. So. To score in front of the away end like that um, in the last minute as well. Um, yeah, it was a surreal day. Um, hopefully I can bring many more moments like that here this season. Obviously, <laughs> we spoke to Lingy now and he spoke about when he sold me as a 14-year-old. Um, and we've actually never spoke um, until now. So Obviously, having people who sort of knew me from quite a young age was quite influential in me being really keen to come back here. Um, and yeah, the manager, Spoke, spoke to him and really like what I hear from him and where he sees the club going and where he sees the team going and obviously seeing how the team pushed on last year and in the last couple of years under, under him and Paul, it's been really encouraging. I want to help the club push forward as much as possible. Um, I was here as a kid when Orient were last in League One playoffs, which obviously um, ended in, ended, the way it ended was a shame, but. I'd love to bring those sort of, that sort of energy and hope back to the club and see them pushing at that end of the table in this division. So hopefully I can help the team do that and we can be back pushing to go up again. Everyone knows how tough this league is and you've got big clubs like Birmingham, um, Birmingham, Huddersfield and obviously Bolton as you said. Um, there's so many tough games and I think the quality gets better every year in this league. And, um, yeah, as you say, there's, there's so many games as well, so no games are easy. Um, that's the hardest thing, is just us being able to stay consistent, hopefully, for 46 games and do as well as possible. My local club, club I came through as a boy, um, it's going to be a very special day when I get to play here for the first time as a, as a first-team player. So, yeah, I can't wait.